It's an extremely noble profession. You're training for that one moment of that one decision. That's their job. You check your ego at the door. Everybody knows what their job is, and it's expected that you do it. Columbus Drive Bridge, let's go, let's go! This is not like some kind of regular drama procedural where it's just a fire of the week and we know the formula of it. This is really about the relationships that happen in the firehouse. You handle your firefighters, I'll handle mine. That's a good theory, Casey. How about giving it a try? People don't really get to see what we do. So with this show and keeping it real, it gives viewers a, a chance to see what firefighters really do for a living. Wow, this is bad, bad, bad. The training that they gave us at the Chicago Fire Department, the shocking part was just how much you need to know to be a fireman. I mean, the first thing that Chief Chikorota shows you when you walk into the firehouse here is, is the wall of those that have fallen, and it, it immediately makes it real for you. You don't just represent Chicago firefighters, you represent firefighters around the nation. Like in any job, the reality of the situation is always very different from how you first perceive it. Roof is open. We have advisors from Chicago Fire Department, from a couple of departments, uh, on set. Hey, there he is. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, man, man. They took us and showed us all of our all of our tools, how to use them, how to work them, how to check them properly. That's loud. <laughs> they teach us everything. It's easy with them there. But yeah, we actually have to pry open the doors, pry off the doors. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It certainly yeah, yeah, does yeah. build strength. It's like my or it shows you saying. that you have none. You're letting your entire family down right now. <laughs> They'll use the jaws of life to open the car. They'll be cutting away the windows. Let it go. Keep going. Nice. Nice job. And then the medic actors will come in and put sea collars on and take them away in stretchers and to the ambulance. We can do this just as well as the men can. And then there's specific procedures that, as the episodes go, we'll get trained on exactly how to do that. I hit the heart. Back it out. Slowly. They just want it to look real. They don't want it to feel like a TV show that's not quite authentic. Pressure's coming up. Go. The smoke room is live fire conditions, so it's zero visibility. They burn a lot of um, straw. They put some water on it, and it gets really hot, and it gets really smoky. They usually leave a little bit of space where the smoke isn't filling. You can peek down and kind of map out your room before you enter into it and with a limited amount of time, you only have so much air. Oh my God, it's, it's vibrating. I don't know how long I've got. I've got this person and there's a child. So I'm gonna get the child and we're shouting. You can't see anything, so you can only feel the next person. Get down here! You're gonna go to the fog and you're make it all! It's like that, do you know what I mean? And I mean, apparently they can all understand each other perfectly well. I'm like, what? Say it again? One more time, sorry, I haven't done this before. We were just standing around, we not standing. wearing our masks, just outside of the building. And we were all crying like we were <laughs> falling. We were falling. I mean, we did like this much of what they what they really do. Hey, slow breaths. Every moment could be interrupted like that, yeah. and you got to get in your gear and get out and go face God knows what. Go, go, go! I mean, there's stories they tell us that you would want to put on television, but you couldn't because no one would ever believe exactly. that it was true. Most of the stories that you're going to be seeing throughout the whole season are based on actual incidents. It's that weird gray area where they, you know, where they live that makes it exciting and really scary at the same time. I feel like we have a chance to tell the story of the true heroes. And these are a lot of stories that go untold. I hope we represent them really, really well, but I'm also going to have an awful lot of fun. I don't know their real names. <laughs> I know this one. I win this game already. Everybody, yeah, rock your body. It just happened to me.
He stole my lunch. You can tell by how long it took me to ride it. Uh. Yeah! Yeah! You see that? You see what he did there? Instead of David Eigenberg, I wrote David Eigenburn. Because that's what fire Burn. does. So I not only not only did I make a reference to his name yes. and pun on the question, yes. but I also burned him in the process. Oh! oh Drop the mic. Fire.